right, guys, we are here with 18 Fast Questions with Janelle Parrish. Are you ready? <gasps> oh, I'm a little scared. All right, first question. What book are you reading right now? Gone Girl. Easy. What book did you read in school that positively shaped you? Oh! Harder, I know. Oh, I'm trying to like think back to when I was in school. Oh my God, I can't remember what it's called. Explain the Island it. of the Dolphins. Okay. Island of the Blue Dolphins. I oh, like I loved it. that book. It I was don't all think about. I read that. It was about this this woman who gets stranded on an island. Her people leave, and she goes back to find her brother, and she ends up living on this island alone for years until people come and rescue her, and she learns like all about herself and how to wow. you know live in the wild. It's it's an amazing book. Favorite school subject. English. Favorite movie ever? Moulin Rouge. Of course. Uh, what do you hate on your pizza? Any vegetables. What? Mm -mm. What Bell about peppers, like pineapple? Oh, Hawaiian. Hawaiian I pizza. know, I don't understand that. <laughs> I love pineapple, just not on things. Do they call it Hawaiian pizza yes, in Hawaii? Yes, they do. I uh, actually don't know about that. That's a really good question. Let me know. Okay, I will. I'm going home end of this month and I'll find out yeah, for you. Yeah, tell me. I will. <laughs> um, what's the scariest thing about the future? Not knowing what's gonna happen. <laughs> what would you like to happen? Happiness. That's a good answer. In general, you I know, in that. all things. It's just, it's the unknown that's terrifying. I see good things for you. Oh, thank you. If you got another tattoo, Oh, it's what happening. would it be? It's going to happen. Sorry, mom and dad. Um, a lotus. A lotus? Yes, I want to get a lotus because it's the only flower that can bloom in the darkness. Aww, and I love that. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Uh, what's your spirit animal? I've never been asked this ever. I would say probably a wolf. Okay. I'm going to go with that one. All right. Who's the person you want to have coffee with? I mean, Ryan Gosling's cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little baby right He's a little busy right now with his baby. Darn it. Sorry. Well, maybe she'll just let me borrow him for like 10 minutes. Just sure, to have I'm with sure him. Just to she'll sit there do that. and like look at his beauty. Yeah, go with a young, pretty girl for an hour. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, how do you like your coffee? Um, I like an Americano really strong with just a little bit of non fat milk. Okay. Favorite curse word? The bad one. The F one? Yeah, just because it just it describes everything really strongly. Yeah. You're know, feeling really strongly about something, whether you're happy or you're sad. It's, it's just passionate. kind of it's just the one, yeah, yeah. that you go to. <laughs> <laughs> What's the color of your bedroom? Um, gray and black. Mm, yeah, gray's my favorite color. It's a good if color. That's a color. It's a great color. Yeah. Growing up in the limelight, was there ever one experience that you felt you missed out on? Um, high school. I only went to one year of public school and then moved to LA and was put in in homeschool and I hated it. Yeah. Yeah. I really wish that I'd experienced a real high school career. We can have our own prom. That'd be Just great. I've me. been to so many fake proms, like, you know, actually set proms on, yeah. in films and stuff. Actually, I did get to go to prom. I did get to go to a prom, but it wasn't my prom. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I'm sure there are plenty of guys out there that would ask you to prom right now, anyway. I want to prom. <laughs> <laughs> um, describe a time you felt most nervous. Auditions, but probably like most nervous mm -hmm. ever. Um, the, the first dance I did for Dancing with the Stars. It was terrifying because not only was it live with like millions of people watching, but you know, it's something I'd never done before. And I was like, what if I trip and fall? What if this happens? What if that happens? It was terrifying. And you crushed it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's all a blur. I was, I was so nervous. I was like, must get through it. <laughs> Who was the last incoming call on your phone? My sister. Oh. Yeah, this morning. I talked to her older every day. We're best friends. Older, eight and a half years older. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that's a huge difference. Yes. Did you best guys friends, become though. friends later in life? No, there's pictures of her as an eight year old, and I'm sitting on her lap as a baby. Just, you know, she's always taking care of me. Oh, that's yeah. so cute. All right, two more. Oh, three more. Mm -hmm. I like. Let's go. What's a reoccurring dream you often have? Um, Recurring dream. Usually that I'm running from something or someone and I can fly and that's how I get away. It's mm, kind of awesome. I, I really look forward means. to those dreams. I'm not sure. I run from Maybe my problems. Maybe you can soar through any obstacle life throws I like that you. one better. That one's a lot more positive <laughs> than the one I took it. I was like, I run from my problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then you fly. Exactly. Then you fly. You take off I like on it. wings. What time is your bedtime? Midnight. Midnight. But lately it's been earlier because I have a puppy now and she wakes me up at five, six in the morning to take Ugh, her out. Yeah, yeah, and then I go back to sleep after. But I've been going to, I'm not gonna lie, last night I passed out at like 10.30. Those darn puppies. Well, we're getting old. 
I know. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. And last question, what inspires you? Ooh, um, music. Yeah. Awesome, are we gonna see some music from you? I think so, I hope so. I'm just starting to get into recording some covers. Um, just to put it out there and just to, you know, I, I love music and it's something that I, I want to always have in my life. Um, but I do also write, so eventually, hopefully, I'll start exploring that as well. We can't wait. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to talk about Pretty Little Liars. Yes, let's so, talk about it. So, Mona's not going anywhere. <laughs> She'll still be on the show. She hasn't disappeared forever. Yes, I saw thank you posting God some pictures. Marlene uh, <laughs> called me when she, she was going to tell me that I died and she was like, you are dead, but I want you to know that you still have a job for two more years. You're not going anywhere. You're just going to be the new flashback girl. So I said, okay, I trust you. As long as I still have a job, you can do whatever you want with my character. <laughs> the initial reaction when she said, oh, you are dead. Oh my God. How no, did you feel? Sucks. I, I, my heart stopped, but she knew that would happen, so she followed it very quickly with, don't worry, you still have a job, so. Okay, so tell happy. us what, obviously, you know, either Mona has to come back from the dead and haunt people, <laughs> Or will we see flashbacks? So yes. give us a little spoiler. Lots of Mona flashbacks. Um, the second half of the season will be all about finding out what happened to Mona and did Allison kill her. Um, and through Mona flashbacks, you will find out exactly what happened. I know that when you went in, you initially went into audition for Spencer, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, so told you, stalking. Look at that. I know. <laughs> um, so after the fact, now looking back, are you glad that you got Mona instead? Absolutely. I think that the cast is exactly the way that it should be. A lot of us actually auditioned for different roles, and it's so hard to picture the cast any different. Yeah. Um, Brant Daugherty, who plays Noel, uh, originally auditioned for Ezra. Mm, and, um, that would be weird. Sasha, who plays Allison, originally was up for Hannah. Yeah. So, you know, if you think about it that way, it's just such an odd, you know, odd thing to, I, I just think we all suit our characters so well. So I'm very happy that I have Mona. Your character was actually one of my favorite because you, you went from feeling bad for Mona to hating Mona to at the end, She's like really quite loving an arc. Mona. Aww. Did you have fun with that though, playing those different Oh my goodness, kind of absolutely. Layers? I never was bored playing Mona, still not, still never bored. Um, in the flashbacks, they give me a lot of fun stuff to do as well. and. Uh, I just feel like she's such an unpredictable character, and and as an actress, that made it really fun for me to play. Absolutely, nerdy Mona. Or I love nerdy Mona. Mona. Nerdy Which Mona, one? all the way, all the way. <laughs> Give me polka dot knee high socks anytime. I know you look so cute in the nerdy clothes. It works out. What was your favorite thing to come out of being on Pretty Little Liars so far? Oh wow, um, gosh, I think just so lucky that. Our fans love the show so much, and um, you know we're so grateful. They're the reason why we're still a show, and um, you know we do it for them. So you have to tell me, who do you think A is? <laughs> you have to give us something for the fans. Okay, here. Well, I'll go ahead and say, just to clarify, I have no idea who A is. Of course. But if I had to guess who it was, it would be pretty great if it were one of the parents. That would be pretty it crazy. Would be pretty twisted. Which parent would you? I don't think? know. Like what Mona's if, mom. What if, mm, I, I, what if it's that a man who's far. like obsessed with Allison, and it's a parent? Like I what if it's Byron? In the books, could didn't be? Allison have like a twin sister? Do you yes. think it'll take that route ever? You know, I don't. I don't know. Um, I doubt it, just because I think the writers have been kind of trying to shy away from being too close to the books and kind of creating a different story. Um, so I don't think so. But okay. who knows? Who knows? Well, that is all. Thank you Thank for you. coming in. That's all, guys. Check back for more interviews on SheKnows.com.